てめえ正真正銘の史上最低の男だぜ Hello boys and girls, I'm the Flying Teacup and I want to apologize that I've been gone for a while, but I hope this will make up for it. So let's talk Ronin. Ronin is a Strider class titan with a total of 7500 hit points which is the lowest health pull of any titan aside from Northstar. Ronin has two dashes as default but this can be changed if the titan kit turbo engine is equipped. Ronin's primary weapon is a lead wool shotgun that has an ammo capacity of 4 bullets before the user has to reload. A shot of the lead wool will kill any infantry including other pilots. The properties of the bullets can change if the ricochet rounds are equipped which will force the bullets to bounce when hitting a surface. Ronin's melee attack is switched out with a sword instead of a titan punch which gives the melee attack a broader hitbox and more damage. What in God's name are you doing? Back off you crazy bitch! Please give me huggy wuggies. What the fuck are you saying? Okay, I know you expect me to make weeaboo jokes, but I'm better than that. They're lame, overused one-liners. <laughs> I will not... <sighs> Something that pisses me off with this titan is that you dash into action like some goddamn superhero But as soon as you see two or more titans in the room You have to rely on someone coming to your side in hope of getting your sorry ass out of that shit show If not, you will just be sitting there with your sword block crying in the corner hoping that you will live to see another day What am I supposed to do with him? He's supposed to be on the front line, but gets fucking nuked when he does! But it's all about skill, you just need to be quick- QUICKER, you say? That shit on the When you call down your Ronin, you better get in while it still has its dome shield up. Unless you're one of those mad lads who use warp fault. Now that makes no sense at all. I remember back in the day when they showed off Ronin for the first time and everybody just lost their shit like OH MY GOD A GIANT ROBOT CARRY A BIG SWORD RESPAWN HAVE MY BABIES I never understood the hype. But that didn't stop me from buying promotional mountain dew to get him early. You thought I was kidding. I just love that Respawn gave him a mysterious wannabe lone wolf voice. They f knew who this title would appeal to. But it doesn't stop there. Do you know who has the same voice actor? If it lives. I can kill it. Yeah, that's right. Mother f***ing Reaper. Well, it looks like Respawn kept some of his edginess. So, I guess this is the part where I rose his appearance, but <laughs> really, just, just look at him. Okay, I, I had no joke here. Just get creative and make something yourself. Just to let newcomers to the game know, you can activate your nuke eject when you're faced, which means that you can sneak up or just dash straight into people when you're doomed. But really, using face reflex with nuke eject is pretty pointless. In theory, it's pretty cool, but everyone around you will hear that you will blow and you stash away. It's better to take temporal anomalies so that you won't have your damn sword block up all the time waiting for the time to strike. Ronin's primary weapon is so unique. There's no titan that can replicate its potential. It's like the obvious choice to give to a titan whose focus is on being face to face with an enemy. I mean, the other titans have something similar, but not this. This is special. Oh, right, and he got a shotgun, but I almost forgot about that one. Get fucked! So, right, Ronin has a shotgun, but about 80% of the time, you will only shoot your first four shots, and then you spam your melee button. Hey, don't look at me like that. You know it's true. Watching two Ronin's fights is like, um, I don't know, watching two 10-year-olds play Star Wars. It's pretty much the same. And they all end up the same. Both gets doomed and ejects. Even though Ronin's shotgun is more like a pea shooter, it's f***ing horrifying being hunted down in close quarters when you're a pilot.
Ronin's ordinance is called Arc Wave. When used, Ronin will drag his sword in the ground, creating a wave of electricity that will slow and damage enemies that come in contact with it. The ordinance button can be held down to delay the deployment of the Arc Wave. Be gone! Huh? There are a few rules that are consistent with Ronin. Rule number one, you always engage with Arc Wave. Rule number two, you always disengage with Arc Wave. And rule number three, you always use Arc Wave when it's up. Refute this, I dare you. Why the f isn't it working? I mean, you complain about arc grenades being too strong, slowing you down. Shit, fuck. This shit takes down your defensive ability and stabs you in the foot like some kind of fing bear trap. Vortex shield, gone. Hover, nope. Particle shield. Don't make me fing laugh. Here's Broden. <laughs> If you ever want to see pity, then just rush after a titan with low or pretty much no health at all and slow them down. What the f are they gonna do? Run away? Yeah, we're gonna need to clean up on aisle 3, we're gonna fucking mistake you! Tell me, what's worse, hit, being hit by an arc wave or stub your toe in a furniture leg? They both hurt a f ton and will leave you crying like a bitch on the ground. Ronin's tactical ability is called Face Dash. It allows the users to dash in the direction Ronin is moving in and temporarily face them out of existence. During facing, Ronin cannot take damage or deal damage. He's a phantom. Ronin is the robot equivalent of Mr. Clean. One press of a button and all the shit's gone. Tether traps, tones lock on, my motivation, you name it. Rodeos are no problem for Ronins. Face Dash doesn't just make you untouchable, it can actually deal damage to the Rodeon pilot if you use Face Dash. This means that you can literally Face Dash and then deploy your electric smoke to make them fall like flies. But what if you don't have your smoke ready? Then just time your Face Dash when the pilot pulls out the battery and you will take no damage. Besides, you can kill the pilot afterwards to get the battery. See, Monarch isn't the only one who can grave rob pilots out of their batteries. Ronin's defensive ability is called Sword Block. When used, Ronin will hold up his sword and be unable to attack. He will also be slower but can still use his dashes as well as face dash. When under fire and using Sword Block, Ronin will take reduced damage. Sword Block can be used for as long as the user wishes. Okay, I'm sorry, I said I wouldn't make any weeaboo jokes, but come on! His defensive ability is literally just his sword! His fucking sword! What do you want me to do?! So this is like the walk of shame for Ronin when all his abilities are on cooldown and yours just standing in the line of sight of a legion or monarch. The trick is to use all your abilities at once and just hold down your defensive button until the enemy runs out of ammo and has to reload. This works for every titan except... Ronin. A fight between Ronins can go two ways, which both include not using sword block at all. Either one of them will try to run away and get help from another titan, or they will just blow the nose with their shotguns and then just use their melee until one drops dead or one gets a core and kill the other. Now I don't know what the f kind of sword this is, but apparently it can protect you when you literally enter matter. What I meant is that it can stop you from killing yourself when you face into another titan. You see this? No sword, you can I. But when you use a sword, you take... Little damage. Watachi wa okurada. Ronin's core is called Sword Core. This core replaces Ronin's lead wall shotgun with his sword, which now deals much more damage. His dashes will also recharge much faster than before, which allows Ronin to travel further and faster than before. During the core's use, other abilities are also affected. Sword Block will reduce the damage even more when the core is active, and the Arc Wave will deal much more damage, even having the ability to kill a pilot with one Arc Wave. Why the f can you be executed? Bruh. I complained that you had to move in with Norstyle like a damn kamikaze when you used your core, but that doesn't even compare to this bullshittery. What is it with respawn and making vulnerable titans core 
forcing them to get close to their enemies. Ronin's sword core is supposed to be f***ing terrifying, like crying in the shower terrifying, but honestly, every damn f***ing time you see a Ronin with sword core, you just get disappointed, like... Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. If you have anything that can slow him down, just f***ing throw it. If you don't have that, then just deal as much damage as you can and just dash away. Sure, you will lose some health, but f***ing really, is this something to cry about? You're talking magic for someone with his sword cord. F*** off, trash can. You know what f***ing sucks when you get the core and use it on a titan with low health? Suddenly, every enemy that normally f***ing curb stuns you just cease to exist and you dash around the map desperate to find anybody to use your core on. I f***ing hate that. You know, this isn't so hard. What are you complaining about? Oh my god, what the f***? So, what do I think of Ronin? In my honest opinion, I think it's really difficult to play well with. It feels like you almost have to be in the mood to play well with them. Otherwise, you would probably be like me and die more times than you like to. I have about 1.3k hours in Titanfall 2, in which 22 of those hours has just been Ronin gameplay. And I can say that personally, he's not my type of Titan. Now, some of you might say that I have to give him more time, but how much more time would that be? I must say that he's really difficult to play with, but I encourage you to try him out either way. But maybe not if you're just getting into Titanfall. Don't let his shiny sword get a hold of you. Of course, there are people who worship him and he's really good with him, like Iniquity, who I encourage you to watch and study how he plays. But just know what you're getting yourself into before you decide if Ronin is a good or a bad fit for your playstyle. If I were to change anything about Ronin, I would remove the ability to get executed while being doomed and using Sword Core. It just feels like a waste of a core if you can't even use it when you're low on health. Sure, you can dash away quicker, but that's where you have face dash. But overall, I would say he's just fine. And with that said, thanks for watching and take care.